Hello, hello, hello! You are tuning into the episode of The Wonder King Show. Today's first topic I think Odell Beckham Jr. is back. Look! I was saying this from um, a couple days ago, right? I was worried about Odell. And not because he didn't have the talent, but because he was still having lingering injuries that were holding him back. And at the beginning of the season, I made the proclamation and I said, I said, look, if Odell Beckham starts to round into shape midway through the season, this team is going to be able to take a step that I think is going to surprise a lot of teams. And do you know what Odell did? Odell went out there and said, cookies, 116 yard receiving. And he did it on the Bengals. And the Bengals is mad. Like, you heard Jermaine Pratt coming out with the uh, with the tweet talking about some, oh, if we had nine, we wouldn't have lost. No! Uh, what did y'all say when we had Tyler Huntley out there, right? Oh. They were celebrating hard, too. They was talking mad cap. <laughs> Yo, listen, Cincinnati, I know it hurts. But y'all got to worry about draft now, right? Because that's what they talk about, talking about draft. But Odell Beckham is looking really, really spry. And you know how you could tell, remember, not this week, but I believe it was last week when you saw him get into running. And it's not so much the long speed, it's the ability to run in space and continue and to pull away from guys. You know what I mean? Odell's not the biggest guy out there. Odell's like 5'10", he's my height. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the thing with him is his ability to route run, understand leverage, and jump. High point the ball when he needs to makes him a lethal weapon and he is starting it looks like he's become comfortable in his own skin comfortable about his abilities again comfortable on that knee and bruh i'm not gonna lie to you if this man continues this the ravens got more than a shot to win the super bowl because i'm gonna tell you this right now and everyone keeps getting on me because they're like oh you're just an apologist no you're if you watch tape you would see it bateman is back He's back. He's winning off of the line of scrimmage consistently. Press, zone, the man is winning. And here's the thing. Shout outs to Mark Andrews because we all know that he's injured. And you know, man, that's one of the, it's been our best offensive weapon, not named Lamar since Lamar's been there. But now that the security blanket and playmaking ability of him is no longer available to Lamar Jackson, he's going to have to lean on the other guys more. That means all of those targets, all of those catches are going to be divvied up between Zay, OBJ, Bay. And look, Isaiah likely is going to have some games where he goes off for 100. We've already seen him do it. <laughs> so do not sleep on likely. I know a lot of people are and stuff. Every time he went into the game knowing that he was going to be the starter, he's balled out. Every single time. So... Yeah, he might go off for 100, 100, 100 yards next game. So I'm not worried about likely at all. He's already proven against good competition that he could rise to the occasion. So I'm not worried about him. What I'm saying is now we are going to start to see what this three-headed monster at receiver can truly be. Because here's the thing. We looked at OBJ saying, look, he might just be good in the slot these days. He's winning on the outside. Like, Bate, Bateman is winning more, but OBJ is winning at a high clip also. So you got both guys on the outside winning one-on-one -on -one matchups consistently, and now you have Zay, who's going to get probably more targets, get more screens, and they're using Keaton Mitchell. Yeah, this is going to be nice. Real nice. And for anybody that thinks it's not going to be nice, let me tell you something right now. I got something to say to you. Oh. You're wrong. Because let me tell you this. It's going to come a point to where teams are going to say there's nothing we can do. Can you imagine a team looking at you and all you hear in the crowd is, Finish him, daddy. <laughs> Y'all love that song. I swear to God, bro. <laughs> That's what we were yelling when we were facing the um, Bengals, you know. All you heard was... Ra Finish him, daddy. Oh, oh, oh. 
Jermaine Pratt, mad, big mad. But I believe Odell right now, touchdowns, yards, we got what? Seven games left or somewhere around there, right? I think he gets to 800 yards receiving. 750 to 800 yards receiving. I think this becomes one game he gets 60, next game he gets 100, next game he gets 70, next game he gets 120. I don't think this is going to be his this year's high for him. I think he has a game where he goes off for a buck 50, buck 60. I, I truly do because of the way he's running. You saw when he was on the sideline, he went that, ah, uh, ah, uh, and he spun. I was like, oh, he's back. And I pointed that out in the live stream. And then somebody made a tweet, right, showing him using the same move when he was on the Giants, you know, prime Odell, superhuman Odell. And it was the same movement, same glide, same speed, right on the sideline, left, left hash. And he did it perfectly. And I'm like, And everybody should be scared about that. Because if Odell's winning on the outside, Bateman's winning on the outside. We know that Mark Andrews isn't there through the middle. But likely is no slouch. And you have Zay Flowers, who's going to be eating up guys from the middle. And we're not even talking about Keaton or Gus. Bruh. I'm going to make a video about that too. Because Gus Edwards and Keaton Mitchell, I'm going to tell you exactly how I expect them to be used. And, and everyone, when y'all hear me, y'all going to be like, that's total sense. Nitro, that is per that's perfect. I'm like, there you go. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think OBJ is back? And do you think that he will now start to ascend with this passing game? Because I think Lamar's going to start averaging around 250, 260 passing yards a game. But like I said, what do you think? Do you think I'm wrong, or do you think that this is a possibility with this offense going forward, especially with Mark Andrews now being out for the rest of the season? Let me know down in the comment section, please, all right? But as always, that's the episode of the Wonderkin. Thank you for watching. You know, we get down, we have fun, and we laugh. But everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. You don't love the comments. And if you haven't done so already, check out the one that controls Patreon. Yes, three tiers of content goodness waiting for your consumption. Give it a look. Give it a try. Let me know what you think, please. And if you would like to donate to this channel, bottom of the screen, QR code. QR codes to a cash app. Cash app is located in the description of every video that we do. And the name of it is Money Sign, The Wonderkin Show. The Wonderkind Show. Super easy. But once again, this is the one that can show. This is your host, Nitro, signing off. And as always, you know my slogan. Peace. And I am out of here. <laughs> Yerp.